What is going on guys? Today, we found out that the Tesla Model Y is one of the safest cars in the world. But what I wanna talk about is why that's so game-changing for Tesla as a company. Let's jump into it. Right, before we get started guys, please head down below, hit like and subscribe. And I just wanna say a massive thank you to everybody who's been reacting to these new stories that I've been doing. Obviously at the moment in the UK, it's hard to get out there and drive the car. So I do appreciate it and it's kinda wild. So thank you so much for the support, I can't believe it. And salute to everyone below. Just before we get started, Tesla sent me something in a post. Tesla sent me this in the post. It was completely free of charge. And I just want to show you sort of what it's like as ownership of owning a Tesla. Um, so they sent me some mud flaps um, and a splash guard installation. And this is supposedly supposed to help uh, the paintwork and the whole kit's here. It's a genuine thing they've sent me. Um, so anyway, I will be installing that at some point, but I just thought I'd show you guys. So I didn't pay for that. They sent me an email saying, hey, uh, would you like some of these? and they sent it out free of charge as well. I didn't even pay postage, so there you go. If you own a Model 3, I still think it's claimable. Um, you should just check your inbox from your the email that's registered to your Tesla account and you'll see that. Back to what's going on today. So last night, the um, Model Y, we, we got this post from Tesla. So the Model Y awarded five star safety rating in every category. Model Y achieves overall safety rating from NHTSA. So let's just quickly jump on that. So we're going on to the uh, Tesla blog post. So Model Y achieves five-star overall safety rating from NHTSA. Right, okay. There's, there's a massive reason why this is so important. And I think it's just so misunderstood with Tesla. People don't talk about it very much. It's like a side note. It's not, it's not like a, up, up at the forefront. Elon said it is very important to him um, and it is at the cornerstone of what Tesla do. But I think people just forget about it. Oh, it's an electric car. No, Tesla is one of the safest car manufacturers in the world. They produce the safest cars in the world. Why is that so huge? The reason that is so major, the cars are already unbelievable. The cars are already amazing in every other category, especially as an electric car. But the fact that they have the safest cars, the Model 3 and the Model Y, I mean, the Model S and the Model X are very, very safe cars, extremely safe cars, but the Model 3 and the Model Y have led the charge even more. Model 3 gained the safest car in the world, I think. Um, but why is that important? So there are some car brands out there that are solely built, their only USP or their main USP is that they're the safest car in the world. So who, who is that? Well, f for me, Go back a few years, my, my little son was born and I was looking for a car. Now, trust me, when you have children, your opinion of what a car needs to be changes. And one of the biggest aspects of that is the safety. I want my family and my children to be in the safest car possible. So when we're talking about fam, uh, parents, uh, people who have precious cargo, like children in the car, Safety aspect is a huge thing. So I started looking for a car and I automatically typed in safest car in the world. And at the time, four years ago, Model 3 wasn't really around. No one's really talking about Tesla properly. But the car company that was recommended was Volvo. And Volvo, one of their USPs, one of their strongest USPs over the years has been that they are the safest car in the world. That is what it's supposed to be. Um, I was looking at the Volvo XC90 and yeah, it, the, the biggest draw for me was that it was so safe. They want to, Volvo wants to get to a point where nobody dies in their car. That was their sort of, their mission statement at the time. I don't know if that's changed for Volvo, but it was one of their cornerstones. Now, Volvo just recently, 2019, sold 700,000 cars. And I will admit that Volvo also have the, the idea of reliability and um, good manufacturing, but, the biggest thing about Volvo is their safety. Tesla are safer than Volvo. So one company's USP 
is that they are the safest car in the world. They are not anymore. Volvo are not anymore. Tesla are. But that was their USP. Tesla have come along, and that's just like a feather in the bow. That's just a, another additional thing in their, just a part of their cars is that they're super safe. So to me, the fact that Tesla have just got this as a side note to what they do is unbelievable. And I don't think people recognize the true value of what they are doing. Let's take a look at what Tesla is showing here. Um, so, one of the biggest things about this is the fact that the electric cars have the battery mounted at the bottom. And when it comes to the rollover test, that is extremely important. Just watch this clip. Sorry, one sec, and play. You cannot roll a Tesla. Look at that. So that looks ca quite catastrophic, the way the car's cut up, but that's actually really great. Look at that. So just pause that there. Look at the difference. If you are sat in the driver's seat there in the Model 3, and if you are sat in the Lexus in the Model 3, that pole's hit you in the Lexus. It hasn't in the Tesla Model Y. So a lot of people don't understand the idea of safety in um, cars. Tesla do. So I've seen people comment on this before and go, well, that's really bad that the Tesla hasn't crumpled on that. No, it's not. No, it is not. It is really fantastic that the Tesla Model Y, in that particular test, I can't remember what this test is called, a lamppost test possibly, but in that particular test, you want real stiff and rigidity. You do not want the tree or the lamppost or whatever it is intruding into the cabin. What's it called? Side impact test. So you, the Lexus there on the other side, you don't, that's, that's the lamppost is, is intruding. It's, it's coming into the side of the cabin. In the Model Y, it's not. Now, some people go, well, that's really bad. You need flex. It needs to be able to take the shock away. No, not in that situation. In that situation, the Tesla is doing exactly what it needs to be doing. In the front collision, there's a different story. So in the front collision, some people will see the test maybe from the Lexus and they'll go, well, look at the front end of the Lexus. That's not as crushed as much as the Tesla Model Y. You want it to crush. That is absorbing all of that impact. And it's the way, look, look at that, just crumbling away in the front of the car. The front end of the car just crunches up like a spring. That's exactly what you want for a front, for a, a front impact, a front collision. You want that front end to take that impact. Um, so there's, the, I mean, by default, Electric cars are safer. There isn't a massive engine block in the front of the car that when it's crushed, it pushes into the cabin. You don't have that. Tesla have obviously engineered it even further to make it even safer. Um, same with the side impact. You have that, that rigid battery that stops the intrusion into the interior cabin. Um, so all of these, it just lines up perfectly. The fact that the car doesn't roll when falling off a cliff like that, off a grass verge like that, Amazing, absolutely amazing. Look at that, you just can't roll it. Love it. Absolutely fantastic. So the reason that that's so important is like the ditch test there. So they're doing a ditch test and the same with the, the rollover test is in a normal car, the car would roll over. And that's where severe accidents happen, where the car, where the car is on its roof and it's crushed or, or it turns into a little ball of mush. The, the fact is that the Teslas are very hard to put on their roofs, near and impossible. And the reason for that is because the majority of the weight is at the very base of the car, the very, very base of the car. Um, have you, did you ever have those toys where, as a, as a child, they're like these little men and they had all the weight in the bottom and you could not topple them over? That's exactly what the Tesla is like. So here goes Elon, just with a little comment underneath, physics. And there you go. It, it, it's so true. It's the physics, the fact that the weight is so low down, you can't roll that car. Some people might not see this as a major thing. You might not see this as a major thing. 
you might be a young guy who doesn't really think of the safety aspect too much. You know, you maybe you like the idea of it's slightly safe, but you're not bothered. Here's the thing. I do consider it a lot when I'm buying a car. When my children and my family are at stake, the, the idea of having a safe, safer choice is something I'm willing to pay hand and fist with. Is that what they say? Hand and fist. And you best believe that that is exactly what any family, head of family, mum or dad will do. They will pay out of pocket to have their family in the safest car in the world. That is the knowledge that I drive around with in the Model 3. I have my child in the back, my family in the car. I'll drive around with the knowledge that I am driving the safest car in the world. If I'm going to drive a car or a vehicle, I know that I have made the best decision for the safest car in the world. You can't beat that. I hope you comprehend what that means. It means that if a family has the money and they're trying to make the choice, they will choose a Tesla. If this, this isn't even out there as common knowledge. It isn't even common knowledge yet that the Tesla Model 3 and Model Y are the safest cars in the world. That's not even common knowledge. It isn't even common knowledge that Tesla creates safe cars. In fact, I would say it's the opposite. For the general public, some people think that Teslas are unsafe. They think that they're a fire hazard and that the autonomous driving is dangerous. As soon as this, this um, thinking changes, this opinion changes, and the public perception shifts towards Tesla being the safest car in the world, which it is not yet, Oh my gosh, sales are going to explode. The Model Y in Europe, I said last time, the Model Y in Europe is going to be one of the hottest sellers. And I, I firmly believe that. But this is a key part to that puzzle. If, if the public perception of Tesla changes, not just to be the electric car company who can make a decent electric car, if it changes that they're the electric car company that make a decent car and the safest car in the world, there'll be a mic drop. Honestly, honestly, it's going to be absolutely game-changing. Um, so let me just read through this. Since the launch of Model S in 2012, I'll throw some clips up now because this could be quite boring. We have engineered every Tesla around the same advanced architecture that maximizes oxygen... Sorry, I'm not, I wouldn't get a, a, a script reading job. Advances architecture that maximizes occupant safety. Today, Model Y, Tesla's mid-size sport utility vehicle, SUV is the latest Tesla vehicle to earn a five-star safety rating in every category from the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. As part of their new as part of their 2020 new car assessment program, NHTSA tested Model Y long-range all-wheel drive or tested all-wheel drive. We expect similar results for the Model Y variants including our performance all-wheel drive and single motor rear-wheel drive in the future. What makes Model Y so safe? Model 3 and Model Y were developed largely on the same platform, and this shared architecture is fundamental to both vehicles' safety. To accommodate its higher mass and larger cabin space as an SUV, Model Y body structure is fortified and strengthened even further than Model 3 in the pursuit of a five-star rating. At its core, in the event of a collision, Model Y is engineered to distribute crash forces around the cabin and away from the vehicle's occupants, greatly reducing the risk of injury. Our front and rear crumple zones are optimized and optimized side structure enable the Model Y to manage crash energy very efficiently, reducing accelerations on the vehicle and more critically, its occupants. Additionally, Model Y structure now includes the world's largest casting, along with a fortified battery pack. These elements mitigate intrusions into the cabin, creating a robust safety cell with enough room for our advanced restraint system to deploy and provide even more occupant protection. Rollover risk. Rollovers are significantly increased. Rollovers significantly increase the risk of injury during an accident. To calculate rollover resistance in NHH in NHTSA's test, Model Y is parked on a suspended platform that rotates in all directions to physically measure the center of gravity and moments of inertia. NHTSA's assessment determined that Model Y has a rollover risk of 7.9%, the lowest of any SUV recorded to date by the organization.
As with all Tesla vehicles, Model Y's architecture is fundamentally designed to have very low center of gravity, which is accomplished by strategically placing its heavy battery pack and electric motors low down in the vehicle. Safety is at the core of every Tesla vehicle, and the Model Y's benefit from years of Im immense passion for vehicle safety. Every Tesla comes standard with advanced crash avoidance and pedestrian protection features, including automatic emergency braking, lane departure, wa lane departure warning, and forward collision warning, among others. By providing the latest advanced equipment and technologies, our goal is to help the customer prevent avoidable accidents whenever possible. And when they are not avoidable, to mitigate injury to the fullest extent. Indeed, we believe Model Y to be the among to be among the safest vehicles available to consumers on the road. Guys, if that didn't bore you, if, if that did bore you, I'm sorry, but if that didn't bore you and you got, got some, uh, something out of that, um, follow Tesla on Twitter. They don't need promotion, but go follow them. To me, this is just a huge, huge win for Tesla. Um, it's just proof that what they're doing is right. The thing is, I don't think people still understand. Well, I, d I know people still don't understand how major this is. Tesla is saying that safety is at the core of their company. The fact that when the, ca when the car crashes, when the car crashes, you are in the safest vehicle ever. That's very important. But take note of what I said there, when the car crashes. Tesla is so advanced with the warning systems now coming into the um, autonomous driving and the full self-driving, coming into the automatic braking and pedestrian safety and all those kinds of things. The car is actually very difficult to crash. That's the point. The car is difficult to crash. God forbid you are in a crash, but you're in the safest car in the world but the likelihood of you crashing is reduced. In fact, when in um, autonomous driving or full self-driving is activated in the Tesla, Tesla have proven that you're 10 times likely, 10 times less likely, 10 times less likely to have an accident. So, and I, th I think all of this, I think is, well, I know makes Tesla the, the um, safest car company in the world, but all of this, I think eventually will tip the pendulum for public perception of Tesla and it will be a landslide. It will happen like that. Overnight, Tesla will become, in the public's mind, the safest car company in the world. The thing is, is they've been slated in the media for so long that that's just taken a longer time to happen. But when it does, sales of Teslas will go through the roof because there is a, a type of person and it's the person who's likely to buy a car. It's a family person who are going to go, you know what? I've got a 40,000 pound car here that I can purchase, the Tesla Model 3, the safest car in the world. Or there's a 33,000 um, pound BMW. Which one am I going to choose? Maybe the Model 3 is slightly more expensive, but it offers perfect safety for my family. It's a better car, it's a faster car, it's a more efficient, it's cheaper to run, it's electric, it's moving in the right direction of technology, but it's safer. That safety aspect is honestly worth 7,000 pounds, 10,000, it's worth twice the price, the safety aspect. Trust me, because I was gonna buy a Volvo because of this. I was going to buy a Volvo to keep my child in the safest car possible. Luckily, I waited and now I have a Model 3. Kaboom! Anyway, anyway, but like, like I say, I feel safe in the Model X and the Model 3 just because of the, the systems in place. The idea of having a crash is less likely, and I love that. I absolutely love that. I feel unsafe when I'm not in um, autonomous driving. I always stay in autonomous driving. I feel much safer. If you've watched um, iRobot with Will Smith and where he goes, I'm manually driving. He, like, he takes over the autonomous driving and starts manually driving. That's how I feel now. It feels, it feels quite barbaric when I can't use autonomous driving and I have to manually drive, especially on the motorways. I feel like, oh, what am I doing here? I've got to keep between this lane. And when the car does it so perfectly, you feel a lot safer. Ugh, guys, sorry. Tesla mug, get them online now. Tesla.com. Guys, uh, as you can see, I'm quite passionate about this. I'm, I'm passionate about Tesla, but I, I really don't think people understand how big this is. It's really important. So with all that being said, sorry I got a bit ranty there. What do you guys think? Um, 
What do you guys think? I'd love to know your opinions. Lastly, guys, can somebody help me out? I've just had an update on the Model 3, and I cannot find, for the life of me, my um, sentry mode viewer. I can't find it. It's gone. The dash cam footage viewer. Has anyone else lost theirs? Is there a new place for it? I can't find it. You guys are usually the best at telling me. Comment below if you know where the launch viewfinder is. Have they got rid of it? And I can only view it through USB now. Let me know, guys. I can't find it for the life of me. I can't play the clips. Even when I click the clip thing, like you had sentry mode things, and I click it, can't find it. Um, so I'm worried that the dash cam's not working. But let me know if you know what is going on there. Maybe it's a bug. Thank you for watching, guys. As always, um, go follow me on Twitter. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram at Jordan Mulligan. Br brothers, Jordan Mulligan, brothers. Yep. Um, see what I do in my day-to-day -day life outside of Tesla. As always, there is a link in the description. It will get you a thousand free supercharger miles. If you're thinking about buying a Tesla, it gets me a thousand free supercharger miles. Salute to you guys who have done it. Congratulations on your car. As always, thank you for watching. And see you in the next one. Peace.